ABS is a great technical filament, but what if we add 10% carbon fibers to it? Which property will be improved? And is there any disadvantage? Let's find out. Welcome to my tech farm. Why Polyer sent me several filaments for the testing, PPS without fibers, PLA for LS basketball, but for this video, I have two ABS filaments, regular and reinforced with carbon fibers. I got these boxes for free, but there is no additional payment, so this is not a sponsored video by YX Polyer. This channel has its own sponsor, and that's the Polymaker. They are just supporting all my research activity. Few specifications from the website about the CF version. It contains 10% carbon fibers, which will increase the temperature resistance by 15 degrees Celsius. Also, it has a higher flexural modulus, this means it resists better to the bending. Additionally, I know that this carbon fibers helps with the printability. We will have better dimensional accuracy and less shrinking. But on the other side, usually they reduce the layer adhesion, but both will be tested in this video. About recommended print settings, I can see the nozzle temperature is the same in both cases, between 220 and 260 degrees Celsius. Uh, usually for the CF I use uh, higher temperatures, maybe I will do some layer activation tests on different temperatures, I will see. Now on heating bed I can see some difference, on the regular ABS between 100 and 110 degrees Celsius, on the CF version between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. Probably the reason for this is the better printability and less warping on the CF version. But with the engineering plate, with the glue on it, I don't have any problems with basically any ABS I tested so far. Chamber temperature between 45 and 60 degrees Celsius, which I can reach even with my X1 carbon with passive heating by heated bed. Of course, we need a hardened steel nozzle for the carbon fiber version. And the max speed is uh, 100 millimeters per second, that's below 10 cubic millimeters per second flow. Yes, for the carbon fiber version, I usually use a lower flow compared to the regular ABS. Next to spools, I got this part, it is from the ABS CF, and it looks fantastic. Those layer lights are quite hidden. Probably I will use it for the thumbnail image, but let's see what's in the box. I can see the packaging is a little bit different, regular ABS, and this is the carbon fiber version. Partly it uses on one side only this uh, better packaging, which resists better to the moisture. And the carbon fiber bag is resealable on this side, probably it is even more sensitive to the moisture because of those fibers. On a sticker we have the same information like on the box, only I'm missing here the weight of the empty spool. I will check on their website or maybe I will ask them directly. If I get this information you can see here the weight of the empty spool. Let's check how brittle are these filaments. Because of the smaller density of the ABS compared to the PETG, the spools are quite full. Pay attention to this because it may fall down during the printing. Let's see how flexible are the filaments. This is the regular ABS. Completely flexible, interesting, typical for the ABS, I can see this whitening of the surface. This is the carbon fiber version. Oh, quite flexible, let's measure it. I started with using of this tool with the brittle filaments. You can download this from the printables. Start angle is 28 degrees. Hundred ten, I think, but I will check the footage. From previous measuring and my experience, I know that this is good property, not so brittle filament. I will start the printing with the regular ABS out of the box. Until that, the carbon fiber version goes to the filament dryer, set to maybe 65 or even 70 degrees Celsius. Settings in the slicer. Generic ABS is the start profile. Only I change the temperatures to 260 degrees Celsius. And here you can see the part calling are reduced to maximal 50%. The printing looks great so far, but I printed ABS with this printer several times and I know it will be fine. Only here I reduced the default part cooling from 80 to 50% for generic ABS. One thing I like to do with the ABS, enabling the exhaust fan only 10% because it is connected to the ventilation hole. But my question to the Bamboo Lab, after the update, why I cannot do this from the slicer anymore? Last few vertical test object. Exhaust fan to the maximum. But the smell is not so strong. 
looks like the part calling was enough because those overhangs looks really nice. It's time for the carbon fiber version. The printing looks great so far and I will not even be here so it will be printed without my supervision. I wasn't even here but let's see the result. Hmm, perfect. Just quickly to check the shrinking, the diesel length is 80mm and I'm measuring above the elephant foot. 79.56 which is very close to that half percentage of the shrinking, 79.6 would be in that case the dimension. And now the carbon fiber version, where it has only 10% so I'm expecting some shrinking but of course less than with the regular ABS. 79.85, yes exactly as expected. So we have some shrinking, but uh, not so much like with the regular ABS. Ten side test with horizontal printer test objects. This is average from two. And now ABS CF. Similar values. The ten side strength is very similar between these two materials. And I will include here data for average ABS without fibers, calculated from 14 pieces in that summary table for my pattern supporters. Layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects. Again, average from two. ABSCF. Very similar. I was thinking about the CF version. The carbon fibers are here to improve the printability, and probably I should have nice printing even if I print on much higher temperatures. So I reprinted these test objects for the layer adhesion on 280 degrees Celsius. I forgot to record them before the testing, but those overhangs look completely fine and the printing is okay. Now let's see the measuring. The layer adhesion is similar in all four cases and about ABS-CF, by printing on 280 degrees Celsius instead of 260, I could improve the layer adhesion by 8%. It's okay, but I thought the difference will be bigger. Shear test with horizontal printed objects side by side two materials and now these are printed in vertical position printed horizontally usually those fibers helps and it is stronger than CF version compared to the regular ABS only I thought the difference would be much bigger but on the other side printed vertically the CF version was the strongest torsion test with horizontally and vertically printed objects and I'm starting with horizontal ones I'm recording the load at 90 degree rotation 1.2, and the maximal load. 1.3. Printed vertically, they break more suddenly, so usually I can record only the maximal load. It's interesting to see the difference between the brake types. This time the numbers are very similar in all three cases. About loads for horizontal and vertical objects, we can see they are similar too. When I started this testing, I thought the difference will be big, but now after so many testings, I can see that this is normal. Three point bending test, the distance between supports is 50 millimeters, and I'm recording the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is the deformation under 5 kilograms, and this under 10 kilograms. The deformation of the ABS is very similar to the average ABS and those carbon fibers really help so we will have less deformation and the parts will be more rigid. Impact test with this half kilogram hammer, this is ABS. Zero position. Carbon fiber version. ABS not complete break. Edge positions of the hammer after breaking these test objects and the distance is measured from the zero position. This ABS is tough material which is typical and actually it is very similar to the average ABS if I exclude those PC ABS filaments which is also in the group of the ABS in the summary table. Watch that short video of five toughest filaments I ever tested and you will know what I am talking about. Unfortunately with carbon fibers included the material will become more brittle. Crip test the deformation under constant load and I have the feeling that you will see a big difference here. This is regular ABS, carbon fiber version. Hmm. I thought difference will be bigger but let's measure it. 
16.49, the last fifth day, let's measure them again, 17.29, 14.50. I can see more permanent deformation on the regular ABS. And another big advantage of the carbon fiber version, we will have less deformation and less creeping even on the first day compared to the regular ABS. Temperature test in the oven where I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. This is speed up time less feed out. ABS started with deformation at approximately 85 and the CF version at approximately 93 degrees Celsius. On 110 degrees Celsius I stopped the experiment and I checked how hard are these materials and of course they are very soft on this temperature. All results one more time and these two lines will be added to that summary table for my pattern supporters. These are the results for the layer adhesion test, shear test, bending test deformation after 30 seconds, bending test deformation after 130 and 60 seconds, torsion test, impact test, temperature test and shrinking. So conclusions. ABS if you need tough material and ABS CF if you need rigid or stiff materials which resists better to the bending and creeping and what is very important for me many times I will use the PTG because I need better dimensional accuracy compared to the ABS but with the carbon fiber version I can still have the dimensional accuracy and about the toughness don't be confused because it still has better toughness compared to the PTG which is very brittle material. To all my Patreon supporters, huge thanks for all donations because they make this kind of big works possible and also thanks to the Polymaker who is the channel sponsor and to all you others, well thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and enable that notification bell button too and follow me to my next video. Thank you for watching and happy printing!